I'm here with Jack May, the Marketing Director from Currency Index, a foreign exchange business based in the UK. Jack, thanks very much for coming to talk to the Cranfield Customer Management Forum today. I think you really impressed all of us with how, as a small business, you've been using uh, social media so effectively, particularly given the regulated nature of your business. Could you tell us a bit about how you've made that work so well? Firstly, I'll give you a bit of an insight to how we actually came across using social media as a, as a captivating tool um, at Currency Index. Um, it all led up from a project um, called Operation Bluebird. It was something that was succeeded before the um, uh, Customer Experience Awards that we entered last year and successfully won. Uh, one of the key things about Bluebird is captivating an audience and using the social tools that we have available for us um, on a tight budget. Um, something that I'm really proud of for all of our team and especially um, our board of our directors, even down to our ta uh, trading team um, of brokers, is we've all got in and we've created an ethos at Currency Index. Um, it first started out when I joined the business. Um, Bluebird was a little bit flaunt. Um, it didn't have that social captivation as much as we liked, and we developed it to be a point where it started up from the team and the team getting involved in daily market reports um, that would be uploaded to YouTube via, um, via that and then spread out through Twitter and other social media platforms. And then it developed into more of a lead generator for us. We started to notice that we captivated an audience a little bit more and we're actually focusing on making sure our customer knew what our service was. And like you say, with regulation, we are working heavily, um, uh, regulated by the FCA, and making sure that um, people know that transmitting money with Currency Index is a, is a safe process um, throughout its journey. Uh, a lot of people do tend to use our service and think, oh, are you, are you regulated? Is my money safe for you? It's 100% safe because it's ring-fenced, and we are regulated just the same way as the banks are. Um, we give the pride of obviously using social media and as you saw in the talk today, that level of um, experience is, um, is something that has been fought for um, throughout the project and through my team um, delivering that, that package as such. And so how do you think you've maintained the, the sense of trust that people need to be able to give you their money? And also it seems you've, you've managed to balance that with a sense of fun and personality. How do you think you, you I, I think we that? I think that we manage that really well. We have a real, real good team that work hard to make sure that when you send your money um, via us um, overseas to whichever country you want, um, you always speak to a person. We're not um, in a different country. We are on the phone within three rings and we're, like I say, we act as a social a social barrier. Defining that line of obviously being a corporate business and actually having a little bit of fun, I think that funness is something great. We pride ourselves of being um, an industry um, that is a money money services um, permitter and sending money abroad as, as such, um, of being that little bit quirky. We're not we're not the, um, the Barclays or we're not the, um, the HSBC of the world. We're the people that are trying to save, um, save a fair book for, for um, like-minded personal clients like ourselves who are looking at buying property overseas. Um, the amount of times that I, I've taken that um, and I've had through my Twitter feed um, people saying, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit daunted, I've never used a service like this, it's giving the confidence to connect with them at that point of call, pass that down um, through, through our systems and actually have someone pick up the phone and actually say, oh, you found us through Twitter, you use such and such a thing as a great mechanism and give the confidence to the customer that we are a genuine business and um, the account manager would then and the broker would take it from their per port of call to build a relationship with them from that port of call. Um, it, customer experience is something that I believe in uh, truly passionately and I will take that from any situation possible and you will always be thinking um, about this. Um, for CI as a team, we want people to feel safe and the simplicity and obviously the savings that they can provide um, for our services. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. Thank you for having me.